I'm Bo Timken. I'm a master sake sommelier, and in this segment, we're talking about Ginjo sake. Where in the heck can you buy and try Ginjo sake? What I like doing is I like pressing the ownership and the responsibility of buying and maintaining sake on restaurants. One of my favorite things to do is to go to restaurants and try multiple brews within that restaurant before I go and purchase bottles by themselves. Now, a lot of restaurants will move sake in the form of flights. They will actually have a little flight of three different brews, a ginjo, a daiginjo, and a, a jumai, let's say. But what I recommend if you want to start exploring and, and trying sake, definitely go to your local sushi restaurant. You, you'll know that they'll have it. And then uh, try to go to some more kind of cutting edge Western restaurants that might introduce sake on the menu as well. Now, if you're in a place that doesn't have a lot of sushi, you're kind of out of luck. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kind of maybe go to some of the, you know, Google some websites that do some shipping, online shipping. Now, that said, I opened my store roughly six years ago, and in that time, I, I was the first dedicated sake store outside of Japan, really, in the history of selling sake. Even in Japan, they don't have dedicated sake stores. They have stores that sell, so they'll sell sake and shochu and beer and all the other things. But since I've been, I call my store True Sake, America's first sake store, since that time now, three other dedicated sake stores have come online in New York City and in Oregon and here also in San Francisco. Now, go to your wine merchant, go to your local wine shop and ask those guys to start carrying some sakes too. They will gladly. Sake is the future. You're hearing it here first. And they want to learn too and they want to move product. More sake is being pushed sort of in the Midwest. The skins of the country are saturated with sake. You can get them in Japan towns and big cities. You can get them in Asian towns and other cities. Uh, you can definitely get them in any sushi restaurant, like I said. But wine stores and even liquor stores are starting to carry some brews. I just recommend starting with sakes that maybe have been imported and then definitely try some of our local brews. But again, I would go to your local wine shop and say, hey, is there a way that you can start carrying sakes? And I myself am from the Midwest and I know there are a lot of brews in the Midwest. You just have to be a little bit resourceful and you have to find them.